Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be talking about Spider-Man, because Spider-Man is awesome. Specifically the Spider-Man trilogy, like the home trilogy I guess, uh, I don't know what else to call it. Um, MCU Spider-Man, okay, I'm gonna be talking about that Spider-Man, all three of those movies. Uh, I recently watched No Way Home, and let me tell you, it was so good, holy crap. Spoiler alerts, by the way, for like all three movies in case you haven't watched any of them Which like if you haven't watched any of the spider-man movies, then what are you doing here? But anyways, I'm gonna be talking about them and my thoughts on them and my opinion on spider-man If you didn't know spider-man is my favorite superhero uh, Spider-man homecoming that was It was an okay movie. I'd say you know you, I really like how like they introduced them into into the Marvel universe because like there's superheroes everywhere, and like the Amazing Spider-Man movies or or Spider-Man one, two, and three, like there aren't any other superheroes. I don't think. Um, and so it's really cool how they like introduced them looking up to some heroes. So that's pretty cool, I guess. And I don't know, the movie is okay. I liked the I liked the final fight and the part where he was like under the roof and like hyping himself up. That was pretty cool too. I'd give Spider-Man Homecoming like hmm, a seven out of ten. Eight out of no, yeah, seven out of ten probably. It's good. It's it's not like wow, but it, you know it's pretty good. And my, I honestly prefer Far From Home over Homecoming. Like. A lot of people prefer Homecoming, but I, I don't know, I just liked Far From Home more, I guess. Okay, so yeah, I rate Spider-Man Homecoming a 7 out of 10. Uh, the Vulture was a pretty cool villain as well, since we, we, we never like saw him in the big screen, so I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, so now Far From Home, and I prefer Far From Home over Homecoming, unlike most people that prefer Homecoming. Uh, oh, green's getting numbs, okay. But yeah, uh, I really like that like final scene where it's just Spider-Man using his Spidey senses. It's just, like, between with No Way Home and Far From Home, I think that just proves that even if Tom Holland's Spider-Man isn't the strongest, he definitely has the best Spidey sense. You know, he definitely has the best Spidey sense out of all of them. Um, no, my final, my final, my final. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Uh, but yeah, I think Tom Holland's Spider-Man has the best, um, best Spidey sense. My favorite Spider-Man is probably Andrew Garfield. And a lot of people, like, as soon as they saw his performance in, in, um, in No Way Home. Oh, shoot. Okay. As soon as they saw... Dead. As soon as, <laughs> as soon as they saw his performance in Far F in No Way Home. I keep getting them confused. In No Way Home. Uh, they were like, oh, he's the best Spider-Man, he's my favorite Spider-Man, he's always been my favorite Spider-Man. I was like, N no, you dissed on his movies. And I will say, like, his movies might not be the best, but he is a pretty good actor, okay? And in, in No Way Home, he, he proves that. But, but, um, I, I don't know, I, I always liked this, the Amazing Spider-Man movies, because they're the first Spider-Man movies, like, I have, that I ever watched. Oh, oops. Oh, is he not here? He is here. They're like the first Spider-Man movies that I ever watched, and so, I don't know, it's just, it might be nostalgia, okay? They're, they're not the best movies, but they are still pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, I also liked uh, a lot of the fight scenes in The Amazing Spider-Man, but this is not about The Amazing Spider-Man, this is about, um, this Spider-Man, uh, Home Trilogy. Okay, I might do a video on the original trilogy, the Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3, and then maybe The Amazing Spider-Man, the that duology. Um, I don't know though. Right now I'm just doing home. I'm getting kind of sidetracked. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, so anyways, I was getting sidetracked, but yeah. So Far From Home, uh, I really liked the whole thing. I really liked uh, the one thing I didn't mention, mention in Homecoming, about Homecoming. I really liked the um, the fact that they used like a new love interest, uh, love interest with Liz, but then they still ended up using like MJ as Spider-Man's love interest in the other two movies. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it just with Liz it went nowhere. I guess she was just a love interest for that one movie. She showed up in No Way Home as like a magazine, 
which is pretty cool. Oh, I won? What? He was a final kill? Okay, well, GG's. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, now, I've been talking about Homecoming for a long time, so I'm going to talk about Far From Home now. Well, I haven't really been talking- I've been getting sidetracked, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Thing, right, one thing I don't like about the continuation of Homecoming and Far From Home is, like, because Spider-Man's, like, all hyped up, right? He wants to be, um, a hero, right? And then he, he was, like, a hero for a couple of weeks, and now he just wants a break. Like, I, I don't really understand that part, but whatever, I can just- I could just look past it. It's still a pretty good movie. Um, I really like the fight scenes, the end, I already said that. How he uses Spidey Sense, that was pretty cool. And... Get wrecked. And... Uh, the, the elemental thingies. Elementals, are that, is that what they're called? I don't know, um, but the, those elements that Mysterio uses, that, that's like a pretty cool... I never, I haven't read like the comics or anything, so... I did know that Mysterio was bad, right? But honestly, I was kind of convinced that he was good, and then he, he turns out he wasn't. But yeah. Also, um, Mysterio, he was like spying on on Peter, like right from the start of the trip, which I thought was really cool. You know, like the little details. Okay, but yeah, I really like the movie. Uh, I'd give it an eight out of ten. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess an eight out of ten. Now, I'm going to be talking about No Way Home, the movie that I've been wanting to talk about. I almost died. <laughs> okay, so No Way Home, I'm just saying it right here, right now, 10 out of 10. Like, masterpiece. It's so good. Okay, and a lot of people, uh, well, I don't know. Okay, I've heard some people say that, um, that the reason people like Spider-Man No Way Home so much is because of the nostalgia, because all three Spider-Man show up. And I will admit, oh shoot. Okay, I will admit, that is part of the reason why, right? It's, but like, it's part of the movie, it's, what, it's part of the reason why the movie is so good. But not only that, the fights, the fights are so good, the way they handled the villains, they had so many characters, and yet they gave like, about equal screen time to everyone. The lizard kinda sucked, the lizard honestly looked good, looked better in The Amazing Spider-Man 1, uh, than it did in this movie, but apart from that, you know, uh, also Sandman, they, I don't know, I, I didn't really like Sandman, but, like, all, Andrew Garfield stole the freaking show, Electro was pretty cool, all the villains were pretty cool, I really liked that fight, um, when Tom Holland almost killed Green Goblin, like, he was going crazy, bro, he was, he was about to kill him, and then Andrew, no, Toby steps in, and saves the day, saves Goblin, but then, when, I swear, when Toby got stabbed, I literally thought that he was gonna die, like, I genuinely thought he was gonna die. And I feel like I feel like the writers were so close to actually killing him. They're like, you know, we could kill him right here. It's not like it really matters to us, right? <laughs> I really feel like they were gonna kill him, but he he survived. Uh, so that's that's cool, I guess. Um, and how just how Andrew was like uh, with the other Peters, like, it, it was just so heartwarming. Like him. Oh, come on. Like, him thinking of them as brothers. It, it was just so nice. You know? Uh, so yeah, I really liked that. Go, 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 go. No! So we went to watch the movie, and we, we were, like, up at the Beast Show. And I've never been at the Beast Show. Uh, I don't know if all the movie theaters have that, but... It was like a balcony thing, it was very cool. And just the way that they introduced Toby and Andrew, it was, it was just awesome. The whole theater was like, the reaction was crazy. And for for Endgame, like when, um, you know when Captain America got the, got, got Thor's hammer, like that was such a hype moment, but like no, no one in my theater was like hyped for it. It was like, oh shoot, is that guy hacking? I don't think he is. No, he might not be. Wh my boss just disappeared. What? Um. My what? Oh, he's hitting me with his fist. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So. Anyways, but that yeah, that, that was a pretty cool, pretty cool moment. Um, the the movie theater got hyped when that happened. 
It was awesome. He's hitting me somehow. Oh, he's hitting me. If you cannot hit me, please. Can you not hit me, please? Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Go, go, go. Hit me, hit me. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Oh my god, how did I get out of- STOP SHOOTING ME! You're weird, you're dumb, you're st ah I'm gonna die. Okay. They are not letting me talk about Spider-Man. Let me talk about Spider-Man! Okay. So, it, it was a good movie. 10 out of 10. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. If you haven't watched it, then... Well, I just spoiled the whole thing for you. But I did give a spoiler warning, so it's kind of your fault. Um, but yeah, it's a really good movie. I don't know what else to say. Uh, just go watch it, I guess. I guess I'll talk about my favorite, um, Spider-Man. So my favorite Spider-Man is Andrew Garfield, but I do not think he is the strongest, okay? In my opinion, Tom Holland's the strongest, okay? Now, it, I'm not, I'm not biased, okay? I'm biased towards, uh, Andrew Garfield, but I think he might be the second. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't thought about who the second strongest Spider-Man could be. But I honestly think, um... Tom Holland Spider-Man is the strongest Spider-Man out of all of them. Cause like, first of all, did you see how he was destroying the goblin? Like, he was pissed and he was like, wrecking him. He was not holding back. Also, to you cannot, you cannot like, th there's no debate. Tom Holland's uh, Spidey Sense is the best. He has the best Spidey Sense. Like, have you seen Spidey Sense like that from any other from any of the other Spider-Man. I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, his Spidey sense is really good. Um, he's pretty strong. He's pretty agile. He's probably the most agile out of all of them. Um, that might be Andrew, though. I don't know. Andrew or Tom. Because, like, Toby has the back thing. He's, he's not very agile, you know? He, he's kind of old. Uh, I will say Toby has the most experience, you know? Uh, so I guess he wins on that part. But yeah, I, just, I really just think that Tom is the strongest Spider-Man. Come on. <laughs> what? What was he thinking? Like, I actually want to know what he was thinking when he did that. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh shoot. He's. What are What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Do I have wood. I do. Hold on, let me, let me just craft some pants real quick. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on the Home Trilogy. If you want to see me talk about the uh, the original th trilogy, the Toby Trilogy, and then the Amazing Spider-Man Duology, uh, comment down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, because I want to get to 200 subscribers. And yeah, help me get there. Okay, this guy's not very good. Uh, so so yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Actually, I'll say that when I end when I end this game when I win this game Because I'm definitely gonna win this. Game. Oh, you're my zombie. Okay. I am streaming. Oh, what? Where is he? Can you let me talk? Okay. I have been streaming He's literally breaking block. Oh, oh, I know he is now I've been streaming a lot Okay, actually, 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 on second thought, on second thought, on second, oh, I win, GG's. Okay, so yeah, uh, I've been streaming a lot, so you should go watch my streams, I stream on YouTube and Twitch, mainly on YouTube. Thank you everybody for watching, I'll see you on the next video and stream, or stream, and yeah, leave a comment if you want to see me do the other Spider-Man, um, yeah, thank you everybody for watching, I'll see you on the next one, bye!